Jesus is the rock. Amen. The rock of our salvation is called Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. Now, this thing I said now, you can imagine how many people have been deceived thinking that Jesus is building the church upon Peter. That would be the biggest risk, foolish risk that God will take to build his church upon a mortal man. Upon this rock, upon this revelation that God gave you, upon that I will build my church. <laughs> upon that I will build my church. When the church is built upon rock no gate of hell can prevail against it hallelujah the inspired word of god that is what the church needs for the church not to be to, not to expire if not the church will expire i've had testimonies of the, some people said ah in 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 a way, but listen. Any church, body of Christ, local assembly, that leaves the inspired word and begin to do other things, lay emphasis and measure in other things that is not the inspired word, give them time, they will expire. Give them time, they will expire. Amen. Not just church, individuals, human beings, believers. When we live the inspired world, every day you seek to be inspired, to receive that inspired word. If you don't do that with time, eh, you begin to phase out, begin to fizzle out spiritually. The only nourishment that a believer needs to remain relevant and nourished is the word of God. As newborn beings, desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. Thereby. It didn't say eat the sincere milk of the word. Did he say that? It didn't say drink the sincere milk. What did he say? Desire. 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 It didn't say it. Say desire the sincere milk of the world that you may grow thereby. That desire. Anytime we stop desiring it, diminution begins. Divin diminution begins to set in. Malnutrition begins to set in. Desire. God's word. Why did he say desire? God's word does not come. No, no, no. It doesn't and can never. You desire it, then you are qualified when God looks into your heart and sees sincerity of honesty <laughs> and see an honest heart for the seed that fell on the good ground and brought forth fruit, Jesus said, interpreting it to the disciples. He said, they are those that hear the word and then in a good and honest heart receive it. In a good and honest heart, receive it. Luke chapter 8. Then th these are the ones that bear forth fruits. Some 30 fold, some 60 fold. So desire is number one qualification. Desire for he satisfied every longing soul. 
does not satisfy a soul that is not longing for it. He satisfies every longing, what? Soul. You desire it. You search. A woman lost her coin. She did not go so rowing. The Bible says he, she lit her candle and searched diligently until she had found it. <laughs> then she summoned her neighbors to come and rejoice with her. For she lost her coin and she has found it. Amen. The word of God is found. He said, I found the word and I did eat it. And it became the rejoicing of my heart. I found the word. The word is found. The word, you don't stumble into the word. No, you, you search and you found. You don't, God's word doesn't come to you because you are just reading it. No. Are you hungry? For Jesus said that no one will cast his holy things or precious things to swine. You know what is swine? Pig. If you do that, he will trample upon it. Why? He doesn't know the value. Amen. Hallelujah. That's um, Psalm 107 verse 20. That's where I said he sent the word. The word is always sent. And his word healed them and delivered them from their what? Destruction. Destruction. He sent it. God is the one that sends it. It doesn't come because you are reading the Bible. God sends it. But you position yourself well by desire. For by desire, a man having separated himself. Yeah? Intermingled, secret and intermingled with wisdom. By desire, you separate yourself for it. Then you seek. Then you will intermingle with what? Wisdom. For wisdom is the word. The word of God is the word of wisdom. Praise the Lord. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15 and 16, somebody fast. He says, study. Is it not? Study to show yourself approved. Uh -huh. And that from childhood, you have known the Holy Scriptures. Which shall able to do what make you wise unto salvation uh -huh. through faith which is in christ jesus all scripture is given by inspiration of god and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness amen hallelujah all scripture is given by inspiration. You don't read it and say, ah, I've, nah, do you know, I've seen people that argue. Ah, nah, don't say, talk that. I've read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. <laughs> As if reading from Genesis to Revelation means that you, 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 you cut the truth. It doesn't guarantee you have the truth. You may read from Genesis to Revelation as a novel. If you're a fast lead,
a drug addict, a notorious arm robber, a ritualist, to one that is pure. Is the word. It is with the word that that negative mindset of evil is transformed. Be not conformed to this world, but be renewed. Be renewed. Amen. Be renewed. Don't conform to this world, but be renewed. It is with the world that he renews our mind, changes our thought pattern. It is the world. Only the world can do that. All of us sitting down here are coming from different backgrounds. Some of us are coming from background of hatred and bitterness. Some of us are coming from background of fighting and quarreling. Some of us are coming from background of immorality. It's normal. My friend told me, a pastor, said they went for evangelism. In far a Yeah? In the night, they set out water for them to go and take. They asked them, is it cold water or warm water? They, they took their bath, refreshed, then came out and said, are you ready now to food to be served? They said, yes. They, are, they said the reception was, hmm. Then, to serve them, they now saw two of them, two pastors. They now, the man brought his two daughters they were not properly dressed almost naked so they, they were wondering look at the man the man was smiling that's their host was smiling so they call him by the side they call the man by the side how come how come this your daughters are not properly dressed say ah that they do it like that is their culture that is their culture that they are that so that they the two two of them can make their choice the one they to sleep with eh the man said eh he said yes now a culture that is a when a man treats you like that it means that the man have welcomed you accepted that they saw sometimes they even give their wives yeah he said yes oh my god they they, they now say they said to the man that's why we came that's why we came with the gospel. These are the God has come to transform. They sat the man down and began to show him from the scripture because the man was honest and sincere. And they showed him from the scriptures why God hates such lifestyle. Transformation can only take place with the inspired world. People have different cultures. People came from different backgrounds. Only the world can bring a change in the man's life. Only the world can transform a murderer, the chief sinner, to become a saint. Only the world can change a man's heart. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus said that the word of God is spirit and life. They let her kill it, but the spirit gave her life. John chapter 6, verse 63. The problem is that men laid hold on the letter and it is killing them and they are experiencing frustration. I've seen people say, even in the social media, that the word of God is full of contradictions. Have you had people say that? That the word of God is full of contradiction. It's a lie. It's a lie. What? What is confusing them is the letter of the war. The letter of the war. Every word of God is inspired. It takes God to give you the revelation. Anything you read in the Old Testament is not contradictory. 
it has the new testament fulfillment only if god, if god can open your eyes anything anything you read in the old testament have a spiritual significance is one is only the shadow you see now the substance in the new <laughs> That's why you see allegory in the Bible. He said, Hagar and Sarah is an allegory. That this stands for the two covenants. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. That it stands for the two covenants. That one is Jerusalem that is above which is the mother of us all. And the other one, gender to bondage, which is Hagar in Arabia. Oh my God. May God open your eyes. Talking about, talking about the shepherds, the pastors. He said that God wrote in the old that thou shalt not muzzle the mouth of the ox that treaded the corn. Are they a kechi efina zochoka? Oh no. Then he asked the question, was God interested in oxen? Was God talking about oxen? He said, no, that God was talking about we, the laborers in the vineyard. So the oxen, he made reference of. The revelation of it is those that are laboring. The oxen is a laborer. You yoke the oxen to till the ground during farming season. He said, no, that God is talking about we. That are laboring in the vineyard. That is what revelation. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So it takes inspiration. What is killing people is the letter. The letter of the word of God and the revelation of the word of God that comes by the Spirit of God is needed for God's word to be effective in our lives. It takes the inspiration of the Spirit of God for God's word to profit. You need the letter. It is the letter that we read to be inspired by God. What you read, anytime you open your Bible, is the letter written. You are reading it. But now, believing and trusting God for the inspiration to come. The inspiration to come. Hallelujah. A man was so afraid. He was living in a neighborhood and robbers were raiding them every day. Robbers were raiding that neighborhood every day. And they had very bad stories. People have people are robbed, people are beaten, people are wounded, even some are shot. So the man was so afraid. He is a believer. He was so afraid. So he went before the Lord in prayer. He went before the Lord in fasting for his protection, the protection of his household. While he was praying, the inspiration came. <laughs> you know what God told him? That the thief commit not. <laughs> God didn't say to stay. Say the thief commit not. As an inspiration. He, he just prostrated in worship before God. What God was telling him? Thief will not come. You will not experience this armed robbery attack. But where did God use? Where Jesus said, The thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. The thief cometh not. He used that King James language for him to understand. But God did not quote it complete. Just for him to get the message. The thief commit not. That's inspiration. We were praying for a pastor, worried, but so that the pastor's things will not be thrown out. While we were praying, the pastor came and said, We should cease to pray. That God gave him a word. What is it? That they that trust in the Lord shall be like Mount Zion, that shall not be removed. <laughs> That nobody will throw his things out until he has gotten a house. Ha! We were so worried. We believed him more because we know him. But we are so worried. 
and he stayed there for over seven months until he got a house and put the house in order as he wants and packed out. That same week he packed out. They came and threw out every other person's thing out in that building. Kai, I said, this is God. When God gives the word, solution has come. Not letter. When the word comes, when God is the inspired one, the inspired one cannot be resisted by anything. Is that inspired one? Not the letter. The inspired one. Anytime you open the scriptures, I plead with you. Please, pray to God. What you are opening is mysteries. Is what? When I repented, I brought Bible and begin to read. Oh, hey, Jesus. I was like, Onye Watana, Tiyan Etiti, Ocean. Where do we swim to? Where do you start swimming and where will you swim to? Mokifeb Ocean, Atlantic Ocean. They bring you now and drop you. Even with boat, you are left at the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah? You are lost, though. You are in a boat, though, but you are lost. For you to navigate is more than more than half. <laughs> that is how it is with this voluminous book you carry in your hand the compass is called the Holy Spirit or else you are lost where do you read from it's a page Genesis it's a page Genesis it's a page Genesis it's a page Genesis yeah some people tell me they don't read the book of Revelation. That they get more confused. I say yes. You will get more confused if you don't read with the Holy, Holy Ghost. The one that inspired it. You will be lost. Amen. Those people at the back, are they part of this Sunday school? Yeah? Those people at the back, are you people part of this Sunday school? Yeah? I don't think so. Amen. It takes the inspiration of the Holy Spirit for the word of God to profit. Amen. John chapter 16, verse 13. First, somebody. John 16, 13. Somebody be reading for us. However, when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will tell you things to come. Amen. The spirit of what? Truth. That is the one that... Even businesses, they expire. There are some businesses that was in Nigeria in 1930. They are no more in Nigeria now. There are some businesses that was in Nigeria, 1980. They are no more existing and they are folded up. Other bi similar businesses have replaced those other ones. Why? They cease to be relevant. Others came. There was a time we have NITEL, NITEL GSM. Yeah? They don't want to upgrade yeah? So, MTN pushed them by the side. Glow even came, also pushed them by the side. There's no more anything GSM called 
9 10. I remember I told a pastor friend of mine then, because every time I call him on phone, I would never I never get him. So I asked him what he what why? I don't usually get to you. He said, you know, you know, this uh, GSM I'm using doesn't have uh, wider coverage. I say which one? He said night. I say go and throw it away. Look for money and buy MTN. <laughs> Look for money and buy MTN. And he discarded it. Bought MTN. Because they, they are no more relevant. What will make you to remain relevant is called the inspiration of the Almighty. So that you will not, you will not expire. Inspiration. Wait on the law. Don't read. I told a pastor friend, I said, please don't read. Never, never you read this Bible to get something to preach. Never. Read this Bible to be inspired by God. To be inspired by God. That God will minister to you first. Man of God prays it as prayer. Speak to me first. Then through me, speak to the people. <laughs> because when God ministers to you first, then he changes your life, imparts your life. With that impartation, you now impart others. You can't give what you don't have. He said, well, if you do that, what you are doing, dishing out to the people is poison. For John said, what we have seen and touched and tested, that will speak unto you, that you may do what? Have fellowship with us. Not what we have not tested. Not what we have not proved. So let God minister to you first. And then, Touch your life. Then through you now, he can touch others. Hallelujah. Amen. The letter of God's word is veiled or covered. It is the law that uncovers it. Who uncovers it? The Lord. Only the Lord can uncover the word. The letter of God's word is covered. Covered. There's a veil on it. A veil. This unveiling can only happen when we turn to the law. You see why I said before you read the scriptures, turn to the law. Turn to the law. Plead with the law to roots. I know people that can quote Bible. Hey! They quote it. They quote it. They quote it. Then you look at the person's life. Ah, no transformation. He fights like a madman or mad woman in the market. But he can quote many scriptures. If you talk with him now, you can quote many scriptures in five minutes. But you cannot relate those scriptures to his lifestyle or her lifestyle. So which means he, what he is trading with is the letter of the war. He has crammed it. <laughs> No children, all those, all those uh, uh, um, schoolers on them. Okay, my car about schoolers on those not in school that are in somebody's house. If you call the ch children, say, I'm going to read for me 36 state and capital. Ha! They will read it. They will finish it. <laughs> but do they know it? Do they know it? Uh, don't be that type of believer. Don't be that type of believer. Let the scriptures not be here. Let it be here. Let the scriptures not be here in your memory. Let it be in your heart. Once the scripture is in your heart, if the scripture finds its way into your heart, you can't remain the same. Never. If you see people that are still struggling to, for, to forgive, struggling to give offering and give tithe, struggling to live a Christian life, is because the scripture has not found its way to the heart. If that's... Oh. Doing God's will becomes pleasure. 
Hallelujah. This unveiling can only happen when we turn to the Lord. He said, the veil is upon their hearts, on their face, until they turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. That's in Corinthians chapter 3, verse 14 and 18. The worst thing that can happen to a man is when the holy book is sealed or closed. That he reads without understanding. Isaiah, somebody read it fast. Verse 10 to 14. Come, is that uh, gold? Is that gold? Wonderful. We are praise your the presence. Lord. For the Lord has poured out on you the spirit of deep sleep and has closed your eyes, namely the prophets, and he has covered your heads, namely the seers. The whole vision has become to you like the words of a book that is sealed. Which men deliver to one who is illiterate, saying, Read this, please. And he says, I cannot, for it is sealed. The book, then the book is delivered to one who is illiterate. Read this, please. And he says, I am not literate. This is a terrible situation. A book that is sealed. And is given to one to read. And the man said, I can, even though I'm literate, I cannot read because it is sealed. Therefore, 